Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's Portal back with another Madden Ultimate Team video guide. And today, I'm going over all the confirmed golden ticket cards. Now, as far as all the golden ticket cards go, things kind of just spiraled out of control the last like day or two. At first, it was like people were doing their ad one, then two, then three. But I guess it was again towards the end. Pretty much all of them have been revealed, except for one that I know of. I cannot reveal this one because another YouTuber is revealing it, and it was them that helped it out. So I have to kind of keep that one off the list. Although I would like to reveal this one. I'm not too excited for that one. Just because of another card that's a similar position that I want. But I'm still going to pick it up probably for a gameplay. We're definitely going to get the coins up. Although this is not my account. So the coins here are fine. But on my account. i got to get the coins up so I can actually pick up some of these golden tickets. And I will not be making today's free agency content video. Primarily because. As you guys see the setup I'm in right now. He's going to be making the content video. So if I have to, I'm just going to be super late on it. And I'm going to be. Everything's going to be out at that point already. But. Let's head over to all the golden tickets and check them out. After I'm done going over all of them, I'm kind of going to go over which ones I want, who I'm pro who I plan to pick up, and some of them are at a few, a few of them are at like the same positions. So for the most part, there's probably going to be like, let's say there's three or four quarterbacks, which appears like there's going to be. I'll tell you guys who I'm pretty much going to want, because at this point in the game, the cards can really not get much better at 99 than they're going to get. So it's not like the older Madden's or 99 overall cards at all 99 stats. It's going to be like, a, their like archetype stats are going to be their best stats. So for the most part, I'm going to go based on that. But let's head on over to the auction block starting at the top of the list guys if you're new to the channel Make sure to subscribe turn on that notify boys come join the family give this video a big thumbs up and comment down below Say what's up. So let's go over to free safety So for, for the first card that we're gonna announce is going to be the free safety Calvin Johnson jr. Card, which I believe was announced last night by CC which could be a super super solid card depending on the way it's built but CC probably knows what he's doing so Done. If it's done properly, this free safety cabinet at this at this period in time currently has 91 speed, 90 excel, 92 play rec, 94 zone, 87 hit power. If they focus on hit power, so I'm not sure if that's considered a physical stat. I'm not sure, but this next card's gonna have like a 96 speed plus burnt. You're gonna easily get them to like a 90, 99 speed plus the excel is gonna be crazy. The zone's gonna be crazy. The man's probably gonna get close to like a, a 90 if they focus on that, and the hit power's gonna be above 90. He's probably gonna be the best free safety in Madden. Although he's gonna come close, to like a, he's gonna be like a Sean Taylor. He's going to be similar to Strong Taylor with way better coverage, way better height, way better other stats around them. So, he could be super, super solid. So, we got Calvin Johnson at tight end. Now, this card, at first, I, was like not, I wasn't like too excited about it because I do have the regular wide receiver Calvin. So, if I got this card, I'd have to get rid of that Calvin, which would kind of suck because I really like that Calvin because you cannot play the same guy at the same, on the same field at the same time, which they used to do in Madden, but they don't do that anymore, which it should be a lot if they were different positions. But besides the point of this card, 6'5 tight end. If the, if the EA does them right, and they and they base it off this 87 card, and they get some 90, probably like a 94 speed, plus sprinter, 96 speed, probably like a 95 spec catch, 95 spec, uh, catch in traffic, all 90 route running. If they make him Tony Gonzalez, but way faster, at six foot five, Calvin, this card going to be a glitch up the middle, especially down the seam, because he's going to burn safety, he's going to maul safeties. And just anything in between the middle of the field is probably going to destroy people. And he can run routes on the outside of the numbers. So, a lot of things he can be doing. Now, next on the list is going to be the Steelers tight end, which was Alvin Gentry. Now, a lot of you guys probably don't even know who he is. I honestly didn't really know who he was either. Or Zach. I keep calling him, I keep calling him Alvin Gentry. Zach Gentry. He's six foot eight, And that's kind of the beauty of this card. I feel like they're going to EA him, though. I really think they're going to EA him. They're going to probably end up giving him low route running, low catching stats. But he's gonna six foot eight because they know that if they get him, if they make him too great at anything, he's gonna probably break the game. And as far as abilities go, guys, for the Calvins, I didn't really mention those there because I mentioned those in the other videos. But as far as this one for Zach Gentry, I did also. But matchup nightmare is all really focused on this card, matchup nightmare, and the ability that makes tight ends pretty much like just destroy people. I forget what it's called, but now, so far the ones I have named aren't gonna be any one of the ones that I'll probably end up picking up. As tight end Calvin, it depends on the stats. Like all these cards are gonna be circumstantial. Tight end Calvin. Is going to be based on the stats they give him if they don't yay him and as well as Zach Gentry. If done properly, they could be really great cards. Okay, so one card that I'm actually looking into, where I, I, might, I might actually end up picking up when the time does come. The only thing I wouldn't, the only reason I wouldn't is if he's too similar to this card and this card drops in value a lot. But he's already 98. So for them to upgrade to a brand new golden ticket Lamar Jackson, it's not going to be the biggest upgrade, but the abilities alone could make it worthwhile. So the next Lamar will probably have like a 96 speed, which would mean that with Sprinter on him and John Madden, he will get up to a 99 speed. His throw power probably like a 93. Throw short probably 97. Throw mid probably. And if they focus on throw mid, which I imagine they will, and throw deep, he'll probably end up with close to like 98, 99 throw mid and throw deep. Which then with chems and everything, guys, he's gonna have 99 throw mid, 99 throw deep, 99 throw short, 
99th throw under the pressure, 99th throw on the run, 99th play action, as well as 99th throw power would go deep potentially, and 99 speed. So every single card stat on this card will end up being 99 on a team with chems. That's that's ridiculous. So I will attempt to pick up this gold and take a Lamar pending his price because his price could be pretty crazy. And as far as abilities, probably Skate Artist if we can, Dashing Dead Eye if possible. I think it might have to be Roaming Dead Eye though. Maybe Fast Break for quarterback design runs depending on the person. And, this, and hopefully Gunslinger, because I believe with 99 throw power, but it, it won't be a stock 99 throw power. So they'd have to actually focus his ability on it. I don't know the things you pick, so let's see if we go that route. Josh Allen, he has not gotten any love this year. Had a really good year, led the Bills to the playoffs, and he really got no love at any of the cards. Josh Allen's going to be a strong arm type quarterback, so his next card's probably going to have, chemed up and everything, going to have close to 99 throw deep, especially if they focus on that. Probably like a 95 throw mid, 99 throw power, 99 throw on the run. Probably going to be like a 92 speed. A quarter now, no, not 90 speed at quarterback. Josh Allen's going to be a typical gunslinger, escape artist, dash, and dead eye. That's probably going to be his build. Now, am I going to pick him up? Probably not. So far, Lamar's going to be the only quarterback I'm really focused on. Now, as far as the next guy, a guy that I'm probably, I'm really not too excited about because he fits the role as every single card that I have been looking for this year at linebacker. It's at linebacker, which I've been waiting for a lot this at linebacker, but I wanted a zone one. And once again, I'm getting a pass rusher that I do not I do not want. I've been wanting a zone left outside linebacker all year to fit my scheme. I'm just about ready to actually change my scheme at this point because it's never gonna happen. Now as far as this car goes, next year's gonna have like a 92 speed. So with cams everything, probably gonna get like a 94 speed with sprinter, gonna get close to probably like a 95 excel. Probably gonna get a 99 finesse move because they'll probably focus on that. And they'll probably focus his block shit too, which would be above a 90. Gonna be a really good outside linebacker, but I'd rather have my Lawrence Taylor as well as wait for my zone linebacker. But at this point, Madden's almost done. And we still haven't gotten so i'm gonna stop holding that hope for that because it does not seem like it's coming anytime soon and then by the time it does i don't even know if i'll be playing madden anymore it's sad that i've had this bob miller literally all year all right guys so we did get as the next guy announced adrian peterson now we've gotten no love in peterson all year this next ap will probably have a 94 speed oh no i'm hoping for a 95 let's let's go with 95 to make it make make it something that i'd like but 95 speed plus sprinter probably like a 97 speed you're gonna have a 99 truck in my opinion 99 break tackle Probably above 90 juke and spin. No catching unless they boost his catching. Decent agility. Really good at this acceleration. But as far as AP goes, I probably will not be picking him up. Don't get me wrong. I would love a flashback type level golden ticket, um, Adrian Peterson. But if his speed does not get to a 99, I cannot rock him because there's a much faster people and we've had that speed for a while at this point. But I would love to get a gameplay though with him. Probably will. All depends on how much they go for. It would be cool if they gave us a Nat golden ticket solo type thing or house rules. But I doubt they will, so we're gonna have to actually buy these cards, and that's gonna be crazy expensive. So don't expect like who you get pretty much will be based on price, because you're not really gonna choose at this point. Next, we got quarterback Michael Vick. Now, so I'm pretty sure Michael Vick was confirmed. I don't know who confirmed him, but we should be receiving a Michael Vick. Now, what sucks about getting Michael Vick though is that we worry about it, probably getting Ultimate Legend Vick. But I think that's fine because for the people who can't afford the Golden Ticket Vick. They can get the Ultimate Legend Vic, who will be significantly cheaper. Now, this next Vic will have 99 speed, more than likely. Not stock. Stock will probably get like a 96 or 95, and then with chems and everything, probably get really close to it. He'll have 99 throw power chems. He'll probably end up with 99 throw deep. They'll probably end up boosting his throw mid, his throw short, and I'd say like throw under pressure so you can make sure you can get um, potentially deep range of, no, dashing Deadeye or even roaming Deadeye if so. But across the board, his throw stats will all be like 95 pluses. His speed will be great. His throw power will be great. And everything else would be great. Now, the only thing is, though, I think Lamar would be better than him at this stage if you compare those two cards. Unless they, they significantly boost him. It's looking like Lamar's going to have almost every single stat 99. Well, Michael Vick does not look like he's going to get to that point. So, I don't know. It really depends on who comes out looking like what. It really depends on what E is going to really pretty much decide who's going to be the meta for the next few months. Because it ain't looking like we're going to decide that one. And price, price as well, of course. Next, my favorite card announced this whole year. The guy that I told you guys that I was praying and hoping, I believe it was Dom who did this, RG3, super excited guys. I told you how badly I wanted an RG3 card. Gonna get his ass in a Redskins jersey. We're gonna get a gameplay with him as soon as he comes out. And if he's good enough, I'm gonna keep him. I'm picking a new quarterback. It's gonna be Lamar or Robert Griffin right now, which it's looking like. Now, as far as this card goes, I think his next card will get a 95 speed. Because, I mean, unless they based off this year's RG3, which would suck. I'm hoping for like a 95 speed, as well as a sprinter. Probably get him up to like a 96, 97, depending on. Throw power's gonna be a 99. Throw deep, stocks, throw short's gonna be like a 97. 
So that's a pretty good throw short already. Throw mid's gonna suck. So they gotta boost his throw mid and his throw D more than likely. And probably throw under pressure. But should get all of his throwing stats to mid 95s and above with great speed and more than likely great juke and a pro probably very high injury rating. Now I'm super excited. Oh, that sucks. I'm pretty sure you can only pick a card art from this Madden. And he does not have any Redskins card this year, which does kind of suck. But we gotta do what we gotta do at this point. I mean, I was really hoping to get him an RG3 card art, like a flashback or like the Cornucopia RG3 from years ago, if you guys remember that. But next on the list, we guys, we got wide receiver Julio Jones. Now, Julio Jones was one of the first ones that were announced, or he was one of the earlier ones, at least. This probably gonna be insane. I listened to him be built. I know exactly what they're putting on him. He's gonna get close to 99 catching, 99 route running, as well as 99 like speed. His speed's probably gonna be in stock like a 95, 96. And then with the chems and everything, he's probably gonna get like a 98. Now he's gonna be able to get like, he can probably get, he might get a human joystick. He might get evasive. He might get like, hot, he might get hot rod master. But he's gonna get all these things. It depends on what they boost though. So in the, within the properly built way they're planning to build him, it's assuming, it's looking like Julio Jones is gonna be an insane after the catch master. Like he's going to actually be able to juke you out, stop and go on you, stiff arm you jump over you he's looking that good right now with top tier catching and he's six foot three so who is looking super solid will i pick him up it all depends on the speed because it's very likely that his speed could be lower than i'm thinking right now but if the speed comes out okay we saw now guys a running back that i've really wanted all year just a trial because I, oh, I like this guy in real life a lot that's ezekiel elliott he's gotten absolutely no love man this year they've made him super slow they made him not usable they've given him no upgrades this next z card might only get 94 speed he might only get 94, which means he'll end up 96 chemmed up, which, to me, in my opinion, is not good enough to start. But let's say in a world where they give him a 96 speed, and he ends up with a 98, right? And he's usable. Probably end up with, like, 96 Excel, which, again, usable. He'll end up with a 99 agility. And just looking based on this, he'll have a 99 agility. You probably want to boost his catching, in my opinion, just because his catching would then get probably to an 80. But if you end up boosting, like, his truck, you can get his truck above 90, his brake tackle to 99, loosen this to, like, a 95. This car could be super, super solid. So he's gonna be the most well-rounded running back. He's gonna be able to catch, gonna be able to carry, gonna be able to run, gonna be able to juke, gonna be able to truck, break tackle. But it all depends on his speed. If his speed is 94, it's too slow. If it's 96, it's good. If it's 95, it's usable. And if it's 96, it's, it's perfect. And this could be a very usable card. But they have shat on Zeke all year this year. I really don't see that changing. And this last guy is a guy that, honestly, as you probably don't even know, unless you're like some hardcore Eagle fan, this is the typical every year golden ticket that someone picks. And I'm like, oh, prior to this year, and I was like, like who's that guy and you know like that one golden ticket that no one's picking but could be super solid i mean this guy can know something i don't know in terms of a player with great stats and that's Cravon leblanc guys i don't know based on this he's gonna look like he's gonna be ass but i guess the speed's decent for his i don't know there's, there's no talking about this one guys you guys can take that as you will and by the way as far as zeke went on the abilities i didn't go over the abilities there because it's typical running back abilities you're gonna want bruiser probably you're gonna want evasive you're going to want inside guru, outside zone guru, or depending on the route, maybe even a route, route thing out of the backfield. It's a typical running back ability. There's nothing too special there. But guys, that is about it for the video. Hope you guys did enjoy. There might be one more or two golden tickets. Oh, there's one definitely coming, but there might be another one. But that's pretty much all I confirm ones as of now. And some people might not even be in contact with people on Twitter. So those guys are going to be surprised when they'll come out. But guys, that's about it for the video. Make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, boys. Come join the family. Subscribe to the channel. Turn on that notification, boys. Comment down below if you guys have any questions. Let me know if you have any other golden tickets that you know that I didn't mention on here. That's about it. Thank you so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.